Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and today we have a really exciting guitar to show you. It's limited to one of 60, and the guys are literally just had it in. It's being unpacked, it will be up here any moment, and it is the Violin Master Telecaster from the Fender Custom Shop, and it's built by Yuri Shishkov. I think Jack's just gonna come through with it now. I've been really excited to see this one, so, you know, I, I said to him, I'm just gonna set the camera up, we just gotta get this thing up here, and I wanna check it out, and oh, wow. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. You know, when we ordered this guitar, I saw some pictures on the Fender website and I think, you know, pictures are great, but until you see it in the flesh, you just, you know, you don't really take it all in as, as properly as, as you do when you're just looking at it right in front of you and just checking it out. I mean, the woods he's used on this, it just, they just look immense. I and mean, we've got flame maple all over the place. That neck is really, really flamey too. Got some nice binding as well. That looks really good. It, do you know what, the, the crazy thing is, and I know this is based on a violin, so it should look like one, but when you actually see it up close and you see all the details, like the tailpiece, the bridge, the binding, the F holes, it just, it really does look like a violin guitar mash. And I couldn't think of any way he could have improved on this. It's a relic finish, and just looking at it, you can see it really does depict that typical violin wear, where it's, it's had a knock or a scratch or something, and it's got really dirty in there over the years. You can see some fading on the back there, where it's like worn through to the wood underneath. Got some really nice Goto 510 tuners. Yeah, this thing just looks killer. So, let's go through a few of the specs for this guitar then. So, like I said, I remember ordering this guitar with the boss and I had a look at a few of the specs. So I know we have a piezo pickup in there. It's got its own control for that. You've got two TV Jones Thunderblade pickups in there. So we're gonna check out how both the piezo and the Thunderblade sound in just a moment. We have got a spruce top and this uh, is from a really specific region where all the Stradivari violin uh, wood came from. And you can't just go there and cut trees down. They have to fall before they can be, uh, be used for anything. So the wood is, is really limited, which is, I guess, why they only made 60 of these, because, you know, they can only, and just for the top, because you can only use so much. Yeah, this guitar is, oh, just looks absolutely great. I, I also read that in the case, uh, this bridge here is, uh, or at least the, um, the saddle section of the bridge, is actually interchangeable. There's some other materials in there. Buffalo horn, ebony, and some coral as well. We're gonna check that out in a minute, see what comes in the case. And yeah, let's have a listen to this thing. First impressions on this are really good. That was the, the neck pickup, the TV Jones uh, Thunderblade. Really nice, full, warm sound. It seemed quite good for sort of jazzy stuff. Let's see what it's like in the, uh, in the middle position then with both pickups running together. So got something there that's, that's kind of maybe a little bit more open than just the neck pickup by itself and then the bridge pickup. Really nice, some, some really nice bite on there as well. And, and I mentioned that it does have a piezo pickup in there as well, so let's check that out with the combination. Maybe let's have all the pickups on at once. That's a, that's a really big, warm sound, all pickups. So 
Let's turn the, uh, the magnetic pickups off, so we're just on the piazza there. That's a, that's a really nice sound. I think this is, it's got some really nice jazz tones in this guitar. Something I noticed actually, the, the button from my sleeve was just rattling against the, uh, the tailpiece there. You can just hear it. The piezo is really lively and wants to pick everything up. You can just hear all that going on. So it's very cool. It's going to sound very acoustic when it's plugged in. So we have an Italian Stradivari spruce top, Bosnian flame maple back, sides, and neck. It's got Goto 510 tuners on there. We have a custom violin style tailpiece with a custom violin bridge. You have two TV Jones Thunderblade pickups and three Piezo pickups with their own volume control. It's a 25 and a half inch scale length with an oval C neck profile. So I spent a few minutes with this guitar now, checked it out. Like I said, we looked at some of the specs, we've done a little bit of playing on it and you know, I think this thing is incredible. Fender should build more guitars like this. It's so out there, but so traditional at the same time. I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, we have pre-sold this one, so we, we've only got it for a short period before the, uh, the owner's gonna get it. But, you know, as a guitar that you can pick up, I definitely think for the jazz kind of stuff, it's gonna work really well. I think people are gonna get some unique sounds out of this as well, experimenting with some drives and some you know, different modulation pedals. I think it's gonna be able to do some something really unique. Beep.